In a few moments, I'm going to use some screen sharing software to help show you around the basics of how we'll be using D2L. While I suspect that most of us have used D2L in the past, um, I think each instructor uses D2L slightly differently, and I just kind of like to highlight the ways in which I like to use D2L. But the first thing that I want to talk about here is just sort of the organization of the modules. Since this is our first week and I like to do a little bit of onboarding, our first week has a slightly different structure and that there's going to technically be two modules. Um, so this one and then Gutenberg and the advent of print, which will open up on Wednesday. But usually modules will only open up on Mondays. The first thing to look at will be the module overview. It's your roadmap for the upcoming week and it will list all the readings, assignments, suggested time allocations, discussion activities, you name it. We'll be discussing those topics throughout the week. That means that your first contribution to the discussions will be due on Wednesday evenings, and then the discussion will close on Sunday nights. So please note that while I don't have a quantitative measure of discussion participation, I do grade each um, discussion shortly after the close and do my best to provide helpful feedback before I would deduct any points for inadequacies of the content of what you're contributing. Um, although please do note that you are responsible for making sure that you are contributing. So if there were a problem and you just didn't have a post, I just put a zero in and I wouldn't necessarily send you an email to say, well, you got a zero because you didn't post, right? So if you get a zero and you haven't heard from me, it's because I didn't see it. Um, I do this sort of model here where I don't have a quantitative measure. Um, in part because I worry that when we have a sense of, oh, well, you do one post on Wednesday and then two replies on Sunday night, we can sometimes end up with a discussion that feels a little stilted. Um, you get a lot of sort of book report style summaries and a lot of responses that are things like, I agree. And the goal for us is to engage in really interesting conversations. And I think interesting conversations are by their nature a little more open-ended. However, I don't think that something, just because something is open-ended means that we can't give any sort of concrete guidance about how to be successful. Um, and so the that end, please do make sure to read the guidelines for discussion document in D2L and let me know if you have any questions about it. Um, I think that this discussion element becomes really clear and becomes very comfortable as we move on, but it's perfectly, like you're perfectly well encouraged to ask questions about it at the get-go. Our quizzes um, are always going to open up on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. and then we'll close on Sunday nights. You'll have two attempts and the highest score will count toward your final grade. I do encourage questions about the quiz in our course questions forum, and I specifically encourage that in that forum rather than via my email, because if it's in the course questions forum, then everyone can see the exchange rather than it feeling like I'm giving one individual a student a hint, which seems slightly unfair to me. Um, the quizzes really are designed to be as much pedagogical tools as they are of sort of like measures of assessment. And so I really do encourage students to ask questions and make sure that the quizzes are working for you as much as that you're, you know, that they're a measure of assessment for me. So now we're going to switch over and use some screen sharing to demonstrate how it is that I'll be using the specifics of D2L.